we're going to open this month's video with this small stamp we've seen in a long time. This is the Vox MV50. This head features an analog preamp and uses a small tube to power it. This head has three wattage options, 50, 25, and 12.5, and also has a headphone jack built in. While this does look like a cute little unit, it's still a great option for those looking for something portable to jam with. Next up, we have a full-sized amp head. This is the Dr. Z Carmen Gia. This is a beautiful little no-frills amp that features just two knobs, one for volume and the other for tone, and can be plugged into four and eight ohm speakers. The previous owner kept this in great condition. While this unit doesn't come with the Dr. Z speaker, the previous owner is also selling his avatar speaker, sold separately. Moving on to guitars, we have this used Godin Stadium. This is Godin's take on a deluxe Telecaster and features Godin branded humbucker and a Cajun single coil pickup. This guitar was made in the USA from Canadian parts and is in great condition. If you're looking for that Tele sound but aren't afraid to try another brand, then this is one heck of a guitar. Moving on, we have this other Godin guitar. This is the Siegel Artist Mosaic Folk CW Element. The artist models are the top of the Siegel line, and while this model does not feature the clear coat of some of the more expensive models, it plays just as well as the rest. The guitar features a solid cedar top with mahogany back and sides, and also has an LR Bags pickup system built in. Trick case is also included. But if you're in the market for a cheaper solid wood guitar, we also have this Yamaha FGX 700 SC. While this guitar was made in China, it still plays incredibly well and is actually quite a deal at our price. Yamaha makes quality products no matter the price range, and this one is no different. And finally, we're going to end off this video with something kind of special. This is a 1960s era Gibson Mercury Metalist combo amp. This is kind of a special unit and it features two speakers, one 15 inch with the other being a 10 inch working together with two channels one clean and the other a tremolo. A limited number of these amps were made back in the mid 60s and it's kind of difficult to find out a lot of information on the amps. But if you're looking for something fun and vintage, this is probably the unit for you.